to build the best $1,000 gaming PC in 2025, part two. Now we can install the CPU cooler, which is the SE214 XT. I really love this cooler because it's only like 15 to $18, depending on what you find it at on Amazon and it will cool some pretty beefy CPUs. Now to install the CPU, we have to remove the screws here on the outside of the CPU. This is cause we need to get to the holes that are underneath here to install the CPU cooler. Since we're doing AM5, we're gonna want these red standoffs and screws, and we're gonna put one standoff on each of the holes. Then we're gonna take the screws and put them in the outside parts of this bracket, and we're gonna make sure we screw it in so that it's facing this direction. Do the same thing for the other side, but just get it snug do not over tighten. Then take the thermal paste and just squirt it nice and big in a blob right there in the middle because the CPU cooler will smooth it out. Just make sure you pull the sticker off first. Then you're gonna line up the screws here with the threads that are on both sides of the CPU cooler. Then alternate going back and forth between the two screws, giving a couple of turns on each side. Again, until they're snug, don't over tighten. Then to install the fan, make sure the cord is in the bottom right and take these little metal hooks and hook it into the top and the bottom of each side of the fan. Then take the cord and put it towards the top of the motherboard and you'll hook it into place as you see right here. All over part three. 